Welcome to the Channel Chat Podcast. Proudly sponsored by Convergent Technology. Thank you for everyone attending. I do want to give a bit of history about the Channel Chat. I won't bore you for too long, but I would, wanted to give you a bit of a history about how we started this. I'd like to say it was my idea, but it wasn't. Um, Mark in my office over there. Ooh, Nins came up to me in 2019 and said, I think we should run a podcast. And as any good boss would say, I was like, stupid idea. <laughs> Absolutely stupid idea. We're a recruitment company. We don't want to run a podcast. Yeah, it was over about two or three months. He came back again the next month and said, look, we can share best practices, learnings, mistakes, failures, have it really, really candid. And I was like, nah, stupid idea. Then, about a month after, I was thinking, actually, this could be a really good BD tool. I was like, really selfish. I thought, actually, it's like, Mark, we shouldn't be doing that. We shouldn't be doing that. We should make it that it's about the channel. So anyway, we started in 2019, and I started asking a few people that I knew to come on the show. I think Stuart Fenton might be here. He was actually the, Stuart, hello. He was actually the second guest I got on. Um, we didn't have much material we didn't have much cameras we did it in the back of my office um we did it for about eight months and then no we did, we did not do the back of my office so we, had, we we did it for about eight months um <laughs> that's that sounds worse exactly. so we had it um one candidate every week that would come into the into the office after about six or seven months covid happened now, as you will know, recruitment was not a good time for that. So I rang up my IT supplier. This is my disaster recovery plan. And I said, Jay, Convergent Technologies is my, my technology partner. And I said, um, we haven't got any laptops. We didn't have a laptop in the company. We had only desktops and we had everything on-prem. So they managed to get us a few laptops. We worked from home, and then we said, well, what are we going to do? So we decided to run a show every single day. So I don't know if everyone knows, but we run 80 shows, Mark, in 80 days. And lots of you here have been on the show sharing your best practices, your learnings. Um, everything was going on with COVID. I've had Mike on twice on the show. I've had Haley and the Women in Tech. I had Mark on the diversity stage. Um, and recruitment wasn't happening for about six months. So we carried on doing that. And after about a year, I was bored of talking about COVID. It was getting really, really dull. And we wanted to sort of think, what can we do with the subjects? What can we make it a bit more interesting? And after about a year, year and a half, I actually went to Jody and Conversion and Peter at Conversion. I said, look, I need some help. I need something to sponsor this show. I need to something to make sure this show that carries on and make sure it's a bit different. So they, with blind faith, agreed to sponsor the show in January. We actually came here in February for a recruitment podcast in this exact same room. And it went really, really well. And I actually said to Jody and Peter, I said, look, I'm not sure if this is going to go down well or not, but I really want to do a live show for the channel chat. I really want to make sure that we get a real star study panel. I want to make sure that gets as many people in the room and we can share that to the wider community. So he, again, he backed me. He said, yes, I'll do it with you, Mark. And then I asked Luke from Cameo, I said, will you sponsor me as well? And he, he said, yes. And we're a recruitment company. We're not an events company. So we attempted to do this two months ago. So when we started doing it, I said to Mark, I said, well, look, who are we going to get on the panel? And my first choice was Mark, because Mark was a really good guest in the show. So I emailed Mark. I didn't have... I, I didn't have his mobile. I didn't have his mobile. So I emailed him. Hang on, I just got, I just got to call this out. Right? So no, no you didn't respond. Um, oh, well, well, so my name is Mark, spelt with a C. And I thought if there's one person on the planet that would know that. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Yeah, I did spell his name wrong. But, but Mark didn't respond straight away. And I was thinking, why, why is this dude not responding? I've emailed him to come on the show. He's my first pick. He didn't respond, and I thought, right. So I said to Mark, who should we get on? And Mark suggested Hayley, and I said, look, Hayley's not going to come on. 
No chance. I think she lives up north, Stockport or somewhere. Absolutely no chance you're going to get her to come down to London. He rings her up and she said straight away that she'd come down and do it. So our, our first confirmed attendee was Hayley Roberts from Distology. So I said, who's going to represent us from the resellers? And Mark said, why don't you call Mike? And I was like, Mike's not going to answer. He is not even going to answer the phone. So I call him up. He answers. Mike, it's Mark Robertson Sumner. He, he didn't actually. His exact words were this. He goes, Mark, I know who it is. I've got your number saved. I thought, that's Andy. That's good. Good start. Now, he was actually in Paris, was it, Mike? I think. Okay, good memory. He was actually in Paris. He spoke to Sue, his secretary, and he said, Mark, if I, can, if I can do it, I'll do it for you, which was great. Mark, by then, had not responded. This is now three days. I was getting really irritated with him by then. I think, why is it, if he doesn't respond, I can't now get someone from the vendors. So I was just about to email Dell to come on. Ooh. I was just about to email him. And then he replied back and said, Mark, I'd absolutely love to do the show. I'll be there. I don't know why it took you four days, Mark. but he, So his reputation was restored with me. And then we had um, a discussion with me and Mark. And we said, look, Armis, the gifts you've had today, um, Armis um, gladly donated. And quite frankly, David, you look like this. I'd never heard of Armis. I did not know who they were. I was like, who? Armis? Never heard of them. Um, and he said, oh, there are three... Bi- Three point five billion pound valuation and yada yada yada. Mark was like, I think it'd be a great guest to come on. And I was like, you're not going to get a dude coming from America to fly over for the Channel Chat Show. And right. and and here he is. Where have you flown him from? Chicago. Chicago. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm really grateful for you all attending. Lots of you in the audience have been guests. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have the show anyway. Um, but there's three reasons we're here today. Um, obviously, I want to say a big thank you for Jody and Peter and Michael for sponsoring us. Really appreciate it. If we didn't have you, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> Luke from Cameo has bought us all a drink, which I appreciate it. And David has sponsored the lovely balloons, but also the prizes that we got. And also, I want to thank everyone that's coming and also the panel for spending their time in their spare time to come hopefully share some booze and and hopefully have a good time. And the three, um, the three charities that we're sponsoring today, because it is going all the charity, everything that we're doing tonight is Hackney Quest, which, which you should have some details on the red sheet, uh, the National Autistic Society, and also Electric Umbrella. But if you want any more details on those, on the red, fo- the red leaflet you've got, you'll have that. But without further ado, thanks everyone for coming. We'll go straight into the show. It will last about 45 minutes and then we'll have some questions from the audience and hopefully a drink and we'll go from there.